to millions of football fans, a game between their club and their arch rivals is the match everyone desperately wants to win. It's always very competitive, with an extra edge, and regardless of league position, is fought on the pitch as if life depended on it. That intensity guarantees a passionate affair, and whoever wins on the day takes home the bragging rights that affects families, friendships and professional players for years. In this series, our football heroes take us back in time to revisit those classic duels between England's top flight teams, going back four decades up to the present day. The rivalry hasn't changed, but some say the old physicality is gone and the game has lost its sporting aggression. You have to judge for yourself as we roll back to a time of poor playing surfaces, terrace stadiums, fenced-in supporters and very short shorts. Welsh international Mickey Thomas was signed from Wrexham by Manchester United in 1978. Tricky Mickey, as he was sometimes called, made 110 appearances for the Red Devils as a winger, scoring 15 goals. After a successful four seasons with Chelsea, Nigel Spackman fell out with his manager, John Hollins, and in 1987, Spackers was sold to Liverpool, just as England's serial champions were in their total football pomp. The rivalry between these two giants of the game was at its height when the European champions arrived at Old Trafford in 1977, looking to beat a shell-shocked United who were still recovering from manager Tommy Doherty's sacking a few months earlier. Well, Man United-Liverpool, they are the biggest game in the country. Absolutely, this is the derby game. The rivalry between these two clubs, the success of the two clubs, the support of the two clubs, the branding around the world, Mickey, this is the biggest derby game in English football. Ken Burns, the referee, gets the game away with Liverpool playing in their chain strip of white shirts. The history and uh, the rivalry between these. The atmosphere is certainly lifted, isn't it? Well, it makes a big difference, I think, when they're standing, doesn't it? It's like the yeah, copy Anfield, yeah. it's like the Stratford Road end there. But Liverpool, great team, obviously European Cup winners. Oh, yeah, mate, you know, European Cup winners, but going to uh, Old Trafford. Who, Joey Jones. Joey Jones, our mate and Joey. He could tackle there and there, Jimmy Greenoff. Couple. And Tommy Smith there. Seven. Looks like Tommy's playing in midfield. And there's Gordon Clemming goal. Ray Clemming's yeah. making a good Did you feel when I mean, you play for Liverpool at Old Trafford? It's always a difficult place to come, isn't it? Always a difficult place to come. But I think it doesn't matter how good your team is at the time, it's always a rivalry between them. You know, one could be sixth in the league and one top of the league, but the rivalry on the one game is so fierce. And you know, it's great games. Great couple, great player by couple there, oh. weren't it? Oh, who's a great player, Stevie Copper, wasn't he? England international. Hansen dwelling on the ball, couple given offside. Macari puts it in, but the whistle has gone for the offside against Couple. Kennedy. Look at Ray Kennedy, what a player he was. And the thing was, with Ray Kennedy, he was a centre forward at Arsenal, wasn't he? And then they turned him into a left sided. Uh, yeah. midfield player, he scored loads of goals. Lee Macari there, I mean, United had some great players in their side. You know, you look at Macari and Jimmy Nicol at right back, Stevie Koppel, Arthur Orbison left back, played four or five hundred games. You know, it's a it good United team when that was. Good United team, but not Gordon, as good as Gordon Liverpool, Hill. though. Yeah. <laughs> well, Liverpool, their, their reputation, obviously, their, their history was magnificent. One of the European Cup winners. Absolutely. And don't forget Dave Sexton, new manager. Yeah, new you know, manager for overtook uh, Tommy Doxey. He left in uh, obviously strange circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't mention that too much. But here, couple, couple against Joey there. Joey will get him. If he can't get the ball, he'll get the man, Joey. He's recovered well there, Joey. Yeah, he did well there, Joey. Cool. Alan Hansen covering around on him. Tommy Smith, what a player he was, eh? Phil Nil, Nicole. Kenny Dalglish. Hansen away, but not too far. Hill, that's Culling! Alan Hansen at the back there. He was one of the best players ever played with. Alan Hansen. Was he the one Fantastic, the yeah. Well sure did by Jimmy Green off his Macari. That is funny watching the pass back to the goalie there. You, you forget the rules, don't you? Yeah, well, the rules have changed, obviously. That's a modern day game now, isn't it? And you've got a double wall here, a United wall which gets out of the way. Hill takes. And the Liverpool wall was breached for a moment. What a chance that was. 
<laughs> well, it wasn't just the day of the game, the build up, it was the yeah. week before, when it, the yeah. fans and everyone. Done well, the Irishman, having got his book back, carried on. Hill. McGarry! There's McCoy. He wasn't the biggest uh, Lou McCoy, but he, he could certainly get a, get a goal for Manchester United. He knew where the back of the net was. Jimmy Case there, uh, he was very physically strong. Jimmy, yeah, fantastic player. Bucken didn't make, Kennedy did, off by Nickel. And Sammy Mackerel, last of the Busby Bays. I'm looking at to play with Sammy when I joined Manchester United. What a great guy he is. First time, side foot. That's a great right. goal. Great finish. Clem had no chance there. No. Even Ray Clements couldn't pick that one out. That's a strap for them, bouncing up and down. They're happy the way things are going. Jimmy Greenoff. If you think so, 2-0 up. Couple going to the middle. Joey, get closer side. to him, can't we? Oh, Gordon Hill was well. What a great him. ball that was. Just didn't quite find a foot, but was enough to commit the goalkeeper who had no real... Poor defender, you could say Jimmy Case was trying to get a back there, but again, Greenoff was everywhere in this game, wasn't he? It looks like he was everywhere. McElroy, the angle's not good. David Fairclough's playing in this game as well. Super sub started the game. Tremendous cheer from the Stratford end. What a good oh, Liverpool whistle. team, but get, th get thrashed really by Man United. That's not good, match. mate. Great result for Manchester United. I think it's important when you play those type of games it's to win it for your fans, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it means so much to the fans, yeah. they grow up with it. But also, it's the first goal in those games, Mickey. You want to get in front, don't you? Then you can start knocking it around a little bit and uh, the crowd get behind you. That whistle goes, you want to be walking off a winner. Because you don't forget that result, do you, in a hurry? Well, your fans don't let you yeah. forget that result, do they? In recent years, it's been the Man United supporters gloating at this time. And when I was there, it was all the Liverpool supporters gloating in the big game. A 50,000 all-ticket crowd for the meeting of the two best-supported clubs in the Football League. I was lucky enough to play in the Rangers. Celtic games up in Scotland, that's a massive game, but this Anfield, game is Anfield, I've, I've played in many encounters against Liverpool. That's I've sweet. never won a game at Anfield. Never. never? Never, no. Every time I went there with Man United or Chelsea, I never won a game. It was a very difficult play to go. You knew before you went on that pitch that it was going to be a real tough game. And it's Liverpool who start this meeting of the millionaires. Look at the state of that pitch. Oh, big Gordon McQueen playing for you. Jordan. Uh, I love Big Joe. I love playing with Big Joe Jordan. Yeah. He had no a... teeth, but he can certainly <laughs> add a ball, can he? <laughs> he put a bit of bite into the tackle, though, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but look at the state of that pitch. But Liverpool but, but at that, Anfield, that was normal in our day, wasn't it? You oh, know. Stevie Highway. Was he quick, was Highway? He quick. Go on, in. Great play by Highway, this. Great oh, tackle by Arthur Orbison. Yeah. Stevie Highway down the left-hand side. I Thanks. don't think United have got a great record at Anfield. Nice turn. No, they haven't. Fairclough getting another start for Liverpool. Unusual. We're in the number 11. Oh, look at that tackle. That's got to be Tommy Smith. It's got to be Tommy. Was and Tommy the referee's not even blue for a free kick. <laughs> That's what a game of football we've got in our era, wasn't it? <laughs> Get in there, Bob Page, one of the greatest, well, was oh. the greatest, I believe. Shankly, obviously, up there. Yeah, but he's still won more European Cups. Bob. Oh, good save, Clem. Good save. Emlyn Hughes getting back in there as well. Away by the Queen as far as Kennedy. Ray Kennedy's cross. Sunis! Oh, he could strike what, a ball, can he? What a great player, Graham Sunis. He had everything, didn't he? As a midfield player, he could score goals, tackle, yeah. pass it, motivate. Very difficult to play against. Jordan and Sunis. Jordan and Sunis, both Scottish, uh, having a little bit of a get together there. Oh, he cracked. Emily Hughes with the shot. Tomo's in there as well, Phil Thompson. Hooks it in. But you notice from these, this era and that there's never any arguments really between the players. It's physically, you know, contested. They didn't argue with each other. Well, they just yeah, got on with the game, didn't they? The thing was in these days, Mickey, was you didn't, if you got hurt in a tackle, you didn't want to show you got hurt. You didn't no. ride around on the floor. You just wanted to show, I'm not hurt, and bide your time and get, uh, get whoever's kicked you back. But great, in these conditions as well, when it's muddy and that, you can get the slide tackles in and everything. It's great. Ronnie Moran there going on there Big with Emily Ronnie. News. One of the greatest captains for Liverpool, Emily News. Yeah. He had an explosive shot, didn't he? Fantastic. Powerful. So much energy. Crazy as well. horse. Lovely ball for Sunas. He's onside. Pulled right back to Kennedy. Oh, off the line from Ray Kennedy. Highway. It's all Liverpool, Mickey. Where are you? You haven't turned up, Man United. 
Oh, oh. Off the crossbar. Ooh, well done luck there, by the way. <laughs> Brilliant. But this is a great Liverpool team, I Improvised have to say. Improvised there, yeah. didn't he? Fair club, great. It was a great Liverpool team, wasn't it? Magnificent. And still he's onside. McDermott, he could run all day, couldn't he? Run all day, up and down. Sudes! What a strike. He caught that right in the half volley, Sui. Fantastic, um, great technique. Oh, what a great shot that was. And now it's Pearson, and there goes Hill. Jordan, Pearson and Makari coming up in support. Chance here for United. Pearson's header, Makari got in, McElroy... Great block. Liverpool defensively were a very strong team in those days, weren't they? Very strong, didn't give many goals away at all. But had good pace with the likes of Fairclough on the break. McDermott with his energy. Sunez could pick the pass out, couldn't he? Dalglish should come off and get it. And you can tell in this clip that the pace of the game was frantic, wasn't it? It was 100 mile an hour, isn't it? End to end well, stuff. Well, they say. They Look at say, that first challenge. That is a setting off in today's football, isn't it? Oh, you've got big Gordon McQueen up for this one. Jordan got up. Hill! Deflection. It's great the cop behind there singing. One nil. Very intimidating. I mean, you could hear the roar before you even took that pitch and then you come up the, well, the, the famous when you Anfield come up, sign. Yeah, when you go down the stairs and then you come up the stairs the other side, this is Anfield. And a half-time ovation from the fans. But you always thought, when you come out at Anfield, you always thought you're going to win in those days, yeah. you know, in the 70s well, you, and then in the 80s. Did. You normally did, yeah. you yeah. very rarely lost at Anfield. It was a fortress, wasn't it? But I think they were in fear when Man United came to town, you know, because, you know, as I said about the history of, of both teams, look at that for a chance. Oh, here's Dalglish. Kenny was so bright, Kenny, weren't he? He used to go up front, come off into the space. He was a great player, Dalglish, wasn't he? Yeah. Obviously, he managed now at Liverpool. Yeah. Two-nil. He's caught some great goals, me. Ray, Ray Kennedy on his right foot. That was unusual, that wasn't was it? That un was unusual, but a great player he was, wasn't he? Fantastic. Came all the way through to Houston, let it go to McCarthy. Stuart Houston, McCarthy, the handball. Oh, he scored Sammy. Sammy McRoy. I've played with him so many times. So skillful, but what a great player he was, and he was the last player that Sir Matt Brisby signed. Was he really? Yeah, that's a, a fantastic player, Sammy Matt. Case going on. Uh, Jimmy Case coming on, just to sort one or two people out, <laughs> just to liven it up. Highway. Local lad as well, Jimmy, wasn't he? Case. Lovely turn against Houston. Played inside. Oh, and Dalglish couldn't quite make it. Sunes. Oh, off the line. Oh, great look exciting. at the crowd, look at the cop. Oh. Oh. You said about seating, obviously, for safety reasons these days, but it did generate a great atmosphere, didn't oh, it? Fantastic. The, the crowd behind the goal there. Oh, Sunes somehow saw Dalglish there. Oh, and Highway wanted it inside the back, but here he is anyway. Highway was so difficult to play against, wasn't he? Yeah, he's quick. He's gone down inside, outside. Oh, it's gone in, yes! Jimmy Case. Jimmy Case Lucky goal by Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Have to say that being a more fun Man United player. Yeah, but it's all the, the cops sucked it in, Miggy. Yeah, sucked that ball in the back of the net. Must be great playing in front of the cop. Oh, fantastic! Singing your name. Singing your name. But when you come up. Out the tunnel, and it's you'll never walk alone. Yeah. It just makes you feel 10 foot tall, Mickey. About double your height. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd love to be 10 feet tall, but yeah, again, Liverpool get uh, the upper hand at home. Did they, Tommy Smith? Oh, what, a, oh, what a player for he was, and a servant for Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. yeah very, very He would tackle his granny, wouldn't he? But well, that's the game that you look to, you look forward to okay. maybe two weeks and to think, oh, we've got we've got Man United in two weeks' time. That's the big game. That's Is it Beating Man United mean more than anything than winning the league, maybe? No, not, not more than winning the league, but you mm. want to beat your greatest rivals and uh, the two most successful sides in English football. It must be great, though, when you're in that dressing room and you see Liverpool are the top players. And that, you know, you, did it intimidate you walking into that dressing room? Um, were you nervous? I think when you go in there, you look at all the great players and what they've won around you, you yeah. think, am I good enough to play at this level? Am I good enough to fit in here? Even in training, because it was the training was all eight sides and that, Mickey, across the pitch, but it was really competitive. Nobody liked to lose. And if you couldn't handle it in training, you were never going to handle it in the match. It was more competitive sometimes in training than what you do in the games. And this is the final, isn't it? United, again, great turn. Uh, great goal, that one. It. I mean, Normal. a young lad, he was white, so youngest player to play in the World Cup when he was 17 years 17, old. Yeah. But what a strong individual he was. Unfortunately for him, he finished with a bad injury. Yeah. 
He hits his hand right But this is a strong Liverpool First team, Ray this there. as well. Yeah. I played with Ray at United for a couple of seasons. Did you? Great, great guy, yeah. great guy. It's Sammy Lee, little Sammy. Sammy, I should mark Sammy Lee at call, this is my size. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Kennedy, oh, what a strike. Well, he could strike a ball, Alan, he had a great a left foot. Kennedy. Whelan. Liverpool again are a very good what team, a goal this is. What a goal this is, Ronnie. He tells me, Ronnie, that he meant to do that. He wanted to play a one-two off him and bent it. The strike was <laughs> exceptional. Wasn't it? The for today. This man. There's Bob Paisley. Yeah. Uh, what a manager what he was for that club. What a great man. When I signed for Liverpool and I went up from Chelsea to Manchester Airport from Heathrow, he picked me up. Him Did and Tom he? Saunders come to the airport and picked me up. And I was like amazed. When I got there, I didn't know he was picking me up. And there's Bob Paisley picking me up in his jag I can't to take that. me to Anfield. Is that right? Absolutely. The way Liverpool play, pass and move, it just suited my game. You know, and I think yeah. from we played at Chelsea together, but at Anfield it was pass and move, make space for other people. And uh, that's how it was in training. That's what you took onto the football field. But when you play with such great players, you give it to them, you know they're not going to lose it. Where I think in some other teams, you give it to people, think, oh, they're going to lose it, I'm going to have to track back. Our next big game clash is an Easter Monday celebration, as Liverpool had already wrapped up that season's league title. Nigel Spackman had quickly become a fan's favourite, wearing the number five shirt for this epic derby duel. Could Liverpool make you a better player, playing with that type of players? Without a doubt. To go to Anfield and play with all those players there, it, it, it makes you a better player, you know, and you just got to stick it out and make sure you learn from what you're supposed to do. Definitely a better player for being there. What about for you? You're playing for the biggest teams in the world, aren't you? It's a great honour to do that. You know, United had some great players. He, Davenport here. Yeah? yeah, Peter Davenport. Davenport's beaten him, and Brian Robson's in the middle, and Manchester United take the lead. Brian Robson, what a player, eh? I, I still see Brian today. Great captain, great leader. He was one of those, when you played against him, because I was centre midfield as well, it's probably my fault he got in there and scored, isn't it? I let him run off me. But we had a great team here. Peter Beardsley and John Aldridge up front, John Barnes on the left, Ray Houghton on the right, Stevie Nichols. Stevie Nichols, size brilliant. 11 boots up playing against Stevie, biggest feet in league football. Yeah, but what a player, Mickey, what yeah. a player. And then Steve McMahon and myself in the middle of the park. McGrath's challenge, still Beardsley, looking for Nichol. Aldridge coming in. Steve Bruce made a strong and determined challenge on John Aldridge. Steve Bruce there. there yeah. uh, another great player for United. That's a Paul McGrath at the back there. Gary Gillespie in there. Gary. There. In goes Gillespie and Spackman. And Gillespie. And the goalkeeper. Turner in goal for you, eh? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Mike, Mike Duxby as well. I'll tell you what, this man, John Barnes, was absolutely brilliant for two yeah. years when I was there with him. It's going to come to Houghton. Didn't control it first time. And Manchester United living dangerously. I had, I had hair then, Mick. <laughs> Running around. <laughs> Up. There's Steve McMahon's There's Steve McMahon. There you yeah, go. Yeah, with, with Mike Duxby in there. And Gordon Strachan as well. I, I think Stevie a hard man on the pitch. I wouldn't say so much off it, but it, it was a late challenge there. But Clayton Blackmore, he should. Clayton playing it left back? Yeah. And, uh, now Aldridge to Houghton. Oh, he's got away from Brian Robson. He needs support in the middle. Beardsley's arriving now. Beardsley! What a goal. What a goal. Peter Beardsley was brilliant. He was obviously come in to sort of take over from Kenny. Yeah. And found it difficult at times. A great first touch and smashed it in the back of the net. But in he could score spectacular goals, Peter Beardsley. Very, very good on the ball, wasn't he? Brilliant. That's a mismatch, United Gary. Had a, United had some good players. They've had Anderson right back. At the, you know, the defensive unit was quite strong there, especially with Steve Bruce and McGrath. Barnsley back across. Gillespie. Gary Gillespie with a header. Well, he's top. not going to miss that, is he? Big, tall defender. He delighted with that one. Gets him a lead. Big Dizzy Gillespie. Great guy. You can see with the celebrations what it means to the players, because yeah. it's against United. Vice versa, it works both ways, isn't it? Thoroughly enjoyable first half to watch. There's the Liverpool Good fans stuff. standing up. Look at the shorts in those days, mate. Didn't suit Peter Beardsley, those shorts. No. <laughs> I mean, obviously, everything's changed. The ball's changed. The style of the pitches, everything changed in the modern game. But, you know, I love watching these type of games. This is when football was football. We've got the late Gary Ablett playing in this game yeah. as well, who was fantastic for us at left-back at times when Stevie Nicholl played centre-back or right-back. Houghton on that side as well. And there are three waiting in the middle for a cross. Four now counting Nicholl. 
Liverpool again in, in good form. McMahon. He could strike a ball, Stevie, yes, yeah. couldn't he? McMahon! Oh, for shame! Oh. Just as he showed there, mate. He just as he showed, through. just demonstrates what he's about, yeah. It's a magnificent strike, by the way. I used to like playing with Stevie in the middle there because he yeah. likes to bomb on and I used to jump back the play up for him. And he played yeah. for Everton as well, which is, you know, yeah. and going to Liverpool, which is quite difficult for any yeah. player, isn't it? Absolutely. Right across to Gibson. Oh. Well, there have been times when Manchester United have been their own worst enemies. And Gibson has already been booked for kicking the ball away. What does the referee do now? And that's got to be red. United had someone sent off and then it was a, a booking and it all seemed to be going our way. Off Jim, hey, Northern right side. And Manchester United seem to be in danger of losing their discipline completely. Right side off, another clattering challenge. Right side this time furious, he thinks Spatman trying to take him out. Yes, and then I think there's this breakaway in score. This game looked equalized. like he was going to get out of control at times. Very physically strong challenge. Oh, and look at that was. Olsen. Olsen, yeah, Jasper Olsen, yeah. Jasper Olsen. Good player, wasn't he? Yeah. But they, they were very physical contests, weren't they? Very strong, weren't they? Yeah, but that was the game. You expected you, you that, passion, didn't you? You expected that. Here's Robson. Oh, oh, deflected shot from Brian Robson. That's, a, that's an own goal, that a wicked deflection, that, wasn't it? Oh, Bruce is going to his left and it goes back to the right-hand side. As he has been so often. In the for a but Liverpool, again, as I said, at Anfield, very difficult to play against. That was very difficult to win a game. It's Great certain. save. This was at 88. We went on and we'd won the league by Easter, basically. And then we got the cup final, lost to... Uh, lost to Wimbledon. But Gordon Strachan sneaks through there and makes it 3-0. And I think I, I think I was the one who should have run with him. I'm number five then, but he's trying to get back as quickly as I could. It wasn't quick enough, mate. Well, yeah, we've got the evidence now. To, we'll obviously remind you about that in later years to come. That was your fault. <laughs> that was a great save from Turner from Gillespie. Did you feel like you were going to win the game? Because it was a good result for United in the end, wasn't it? What a sizzling match. Overall, we should have beaten United yeah. on the day. Ian Turner made a couple of great saves for you. and We had a lot of possession, but didn't take our chances. But we went on to win the league, so that made up for it, didn't it? Liverpool three, Manchester United three. It's a fan that enjoy it more than anything, don't they? Because they live and breathe football, don't they? And they look for that result. They look for that game. As they get the fixtures, Man United, Liverpool. That's the one they look at. Isn't it? Well, I think it's just not just in this country, but around the world. I mean, yeah. we both travel. We yeah. go all over the world. You go to the Middle East. You go, you go out to Malaysia, Thailand. Yeah. They're all Liverpool, Man United support historically, yeah. and traditionally, and they're all looking at the big game. And they go. They all want to go to these big parties and watch the big games between Liverpool and Manchester United or Manchester United, Liverpool. And it's great when you go out there. There's that added spice to it, that's yeah. rivalry between the fans and between the teams. Yeah. And I think in those days where it was mainly British players, you know, I think there was that edge to it where everybody understood the rivalry yeah. throughout that, the history of football. You said British players, we obviously now you've got to change obviously so much influx of foreigners coming into the into the setup. Yeah. Has it got the same impact them derbies? I don't think they do to start with, but I think they then buy into it. I think the likes of Sir Alex and Kenny now, I yeah. think some of the senior players like Stephen Gerrard yeah. and that, and your Ryan Giggs, your Paul Scholes, Wait, they, will, they will tell the players what it's about and the fans will let them know what it's about.